maybe. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's a great snipe. All right. There's the bracket reset. At least three more games. At least. All right, coming into game one of set two for the grand finals of Red Line Nine Singles Bracket Edition. This is really just the ninth one that's happened. Yep. Sweet. We so are in week. This is a relatively new tournament. Isn't yes, it? we are. But uh, we're growing, you know. We're we're trying. You already got the stream. GG oh. doesn't have one yet. We've had a stream since week one. Week one wasn't the best stream. I don't recommend going back and looking at the videos of it. Okay. But well. yeah, but yeah, no, we've had a stream since the beginning. And then we did uh, three or four weeks of just singles, and now we uh, we started doing doubles. I used to hate doubles because Team Attack was on, and I used to be a filthy casual back in the Brawl days. I gotcha. And it's like, I didn't like it because every time I made a move, I hit my friend. Oh, the edge guard is too real coming from Bayonetta right now, and that'll be the cool. early kill. Rio losing his first stock in a mere 57 seconds. Fail only at 16%. Aerolink is coming out with a vengeance. He wants this game, and he wants it bad. Because he did make a good comeback against Aerolink before. Let's see if he can do it again. I believe. I believe in Ryu. Aerolink is just not getting touched right now. He is weaving in and out all around Ryu. Trying to make him... Trying to find an opening and trying to get Ryu to make a mistake. But even though Ryu is chasing Aerolink left and right, he is not... Throwing out anything super unsafe. He's still throwing out his uh, quick attacks and just trying to get something to connect. That was good. Instead of going for the shooter, he just went for the forward so mm -hmm. Tried to spike him with the down air. It did not work. Gets the shooter, and this time taking that stock out. And seeing at 91%, he is definitely in a position to still take this game off of, off of Aerolink. Knowing him and how long he survives. Definitely. All right, 131% on the Ryu with only 10% on Bayonetta. Ryu trying to find a way in, whiffing the grab. Bayo hopping all over the place, throwing out those aerials, trying to catch Ryu in something just to start the combos. Aerolink is sitting up in a really good position right now. Mm -hmm. Just massive percent lead. Because Aerolink just needs to get a whole lot of percent on Aerolink to have a chance at coming back and winning this. I don't know, Kaze is sitting at 163% with Air League only at 28, now 44. Ooh, that hurts. There is still that chance that he might survive, but... Uh, 176. Does not kill. I think that was a pretty good DI for him. If he didn't DI that, he probably would have died. I feel as though a dare right now would definitely kill Kaze at 180. Even if it is just on stage. Another forward throw? Nope, back going throw. for the back throw. It's fresher. 195%. Missed in there. Oh, There's so the back air. The back air. That'll do it. All right, going into game two of set two for the grand finals. I'm drawing the thing. You're drawing a cat? Yeah. I'm trying to. Failing this. Can I write the word? Like, okay. can, I, can I write congrats? Yeah. Don't spoil it. Oh, back in another match. Going to Omega Castle. Going back to Kazu's home. What can he do with the home field advantage? We shall see. What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? I throw him overboard. 
I definitely don't let him drive. Don't drink and drive, kids. Call an Uber. Or whatever the other thing is that's like Uber. That my mom does. My mom needs more money. Hey, says Smash Mouth said, we could all use a little change. Yeah, that is true. There's some change. Change. See, so yeah, Arrow League has another there good go. lead on this against Kaze. What? Can we Kaze really Kaze. call it a leap, though? Because every time we see Kaze get up into these, you know, over 100%. That's when he really starts to shine. It's uh, kind of like when you go against a sheik. Oh yeah, you just took the stock. Yeah, as see, as you were saying, it's like when you go against a sheik. You know, for the first 40, 50 percent, you basically just put your controller down, let sheik do whatever she wants, and then once you're out of that true combo range or like the short hop fair range, that's when you can actually start playing going against it. I feel like that's the strategy that Kaze is going with here. He's waiting until he gets to 100 percent, and a lot of those combos start to. You know, not work anymore for Bale. You know, he starts falling out, things like that, and then he starts to go in and be super aggressive to add on the percent to try and get those early stops. I wonder if Kaze ever thought about picking up Lucario. His way he's playing would work a lot, really well with that character, I'm sure. But see, Lucario is too light. Yeah. I mean, Lucario is good, and you know he has aura and rage, but I feel like Lucario in this matchup would not be able to live to the extent that Ryu is living. Yeah, that's we point. would not see Probably Lucario good. live to 229 percent. Maybe a massive aura speed. Maybe block her out. Maybe I don't know though. I haven't really played that matchup. I haven't seen it either. All right, I haven't seen it either. All right, so here we go. So now we're gonna see Bayo just combo Kaze to death, get him up to around 85 to 100 percent, and then we're gonna see Kaze start coming back and getting his confirms. There's the back throw. Trying to build up some percent on him. Kaze running it back, not letting himself get up to that high percent. I might have been wrong. I could have been very wrong. This is a very even match right now. It is. But it is it is still anyone anyone's game and it looks like He it's got Kaze's the game. shield break. Oh my Gosh. god, and he whiffed it. But Doesn't matter, he can do it twice. Like, yeah, I can't oh, I Aerolink is not happy. I, I think. It's hard to tell. He's a very stone faced player. Very stoic. Yeah. Uh, I found that out against a little video uh, last week or the week before that Ryu's forward tilt does, in fact, shield break. Okay. Shield breaks very, very easily, too, because it's got the two hits on it. And with the shield stun from the first hit, you really can't get out. Let's see if we can control this successfully. I believe in you. I'm not the best at drawing things. That's all right. It's not looking like what I want it to look like. Oh, Lila. I love me some Lila. Very interesting stage pick coming from uh, Aerolink here. Now, when I heard they that Lilat was banned from tournament play, I, I was, was so actually, sad. I was actually mad because I finally got okay with Lilat. Uh, I'm a I'm a Kirby and Link player, and so I love Lilat on Kirby. Hate it on Link, love it on Kirby. I can see that. Yeah. For those of you watching, if you ever want to annoy a Link player, take him to Lilat. Nothing is true. <laughs> oh, it's all false. It's all a lie. Lilat becomes a cake in that sense. Grab doesn't even work for Link on Lilat. Because if you're standing on the far side, like past the tilt, and you try to grab in towards the stage, depending on how this, uh, the ship is tilted, your or the Link's grapple will just hit the bottom of the hit, like hit the floor, and they just fall. It's awful. Accidentally drew a face. I'm gonna leave it there. All right, fairly even game, fifty-three percent to thirty-one. But the bullets are just going to attack on percent after percent on Nikaze. He's now sitting at 76%, and Bayo is trying to go for the dare spike. Catching him with the up air, and that is, or the up, up smash, smash, and that is going to be a kill. This smash is it. That definitely works. That was one heck of a mix up. I haven't seen him do that 
just the rogue up smash on ledge all all set tilt shoryuken now will take it the battle between the witch and the powerful martial art is in space with a really epic background with explosions and lasers we must blow up the death star where's the death star uh, it's somewhere. We'll find it. Yeah, you know, I think these ships that we we'll see in the background could probably do. You know, I never actually looked at the background. That might do it. That will. That takes that stuff. Which time into the fully charged up smash? I never actually watched the uh, the background of Light Light because I'm always busy playing. Yeah. I mean, I definitely watched it back when I was playing stuff. It's, mm -hmm. It is very entertaining to watch sometimes, especially when it gets to that point where they're all fighting and stuff. In the space. All right, coming into game four. If Aerolink wins this, he wins the whole thing. Kaze playing very aggressive right now. He does not want to give Aerolink any ground to uh, get those early kills. Might see Kazi Roll go make another comeback and then take this match. But it does seem like Aerolink might have him figured out now. Because he has been winning very consistently the past few matches. Mm -hmm. We're seeing a complete 180 from every other game played in the last in the last couple sets from these two players. We now have Bayonetta sitting at 74%, with Ryu being the one at the low percent of 31. That is definitely different. You know, because you're all much more comfortable position in this fight. Oh yeah, he's uh, definitely changed gears and gone for going for a much more uh, aggressive approach towards this matchup. But still getting killed off the top at low percent from Aerolink. Just saw Bayonetta at uh, pretty close to kill percent or at kill percent. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, he's close to kill percent. Close enough. Yeah. Ooh, that witch time almost being the death of Kaze. Percents are relatively close, but Kaze is knocked down, and the dare on platform. Well, the winner of the Source Gaming Lounge's Red Life Tournament number nine. Four singles. All right, well, that is the end of the singles bracket. Of the singles brackets. For red line number nine, congrats to Aerolink for coming in first. Kaze Roll coming in second. Uh, was it Oryx, Oryx coming in third? I think so, yeah. Oryx coming in third, and I forget who came in fourth. I think it was Light. Yeah, CB Light. Yeah, Light came in fourth. All right. Well, uh, with that, I'm going to take a short five-minute break to see if there's any doubles games still going on. And you guys stay tuned, and we will be back shortly to let you know what's happening with the rest of Redline for the evening.